the forest. A safe haven for some, and the perfect hunting ground for others. The world's forests conceal unique and dangerous creatures. Leaves camouflage venomous predators. Large animals dominate with lethal power. And smaller animals are armed with weapons we rarely see before we feel. Enter the dangerous world of the forest's deadly dozen. The forest is home to an array of amazing animals. With ingenious methods to hunt and defend. But one animal reigns above all others. It just came right at me. You just can't believe that this thing is happening to you. I thought I remember seeing him going down and biting my side. A life and death struggle with one of the forest's largest predators, the American black bear. An omnivore with an indiscriminate appetite, feeding on anything from fish to berries. Mammals, even carrion, In the fall, black bears need to pack on weight before hibernation. During this time, the bear consumes 20,000 calories a day and can become especially aggressive when surprised. For Anthony Blasioli, one September bike ride almost cost him his life. Anthony often rides the forest trails in a popular park. His two dogs are his constant companions. I think about an hour into the ride, just going along, the dogs usually are ahead of me. And um, my young female, she barked twice, but then she was gone. The dog's bark alerts Anthony to someone or something farther along on the trail. And so the trails are tight, and so what you can meet there are other hikers, other bikers. This well-used recreation area is also bear territory. As we encroach further into their habitat, the chance for encounter increases. Black bears roam from the easternmost part of North America through much of Canada, the United States, and northern Mexico, all the way to the Pacific Northwest, including Washington State, where Anthony Blasioli is about to encounter the unthinkable. With his dogs ahead of him, out of sight and barking, Anthony dismounts, expecting to see another park user. So I usually yield to most of them because I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, encountering other dogs and other people, you always have a little chat with them. Or horses, I always heal the dogs away from the horses and um, make sure the horse is okay and everything to go by. But today, everything is not okay. All of a sudden, the bear just came, came right at me. Before he can even react, the bear completely overpowers him. And the bear came at me so fast, right over the bike, right over at me, and I just fell right into the bushes here. Then he just jumped right at me. The black bear can run up to 30 miles per hour, faster than an Olympic sprinter. It can stand up to six feet tall and weigh in at up to 600 pounds.
It's armed with a keen sense of smell, several times greater than a bloodhound, detecting prey over a mile away. But the black bear also relies on its hearing. Believed to be more than twice as sensitive as a human's, it picks up sound in all directions and farther away than the bear can see in the dense forest. The bear may have sensed Anthony well before he had any idea of its presence. A lot of things just get blocked out. I didn't smell anything, I didn't hear anything. Claws, almost two inches long, are ideal for digging, but they can also pin down prey. Its canine teeth are over an inch long and designed to puncture flesh and rip meat off bones. When he bit into my shoulder, he bit off the top of my deltoid. I don't remember when he bit my ear off. I thought I remember seeing him going down and biting my side. It was a force that was just so strong. You just can't believe that this thing is happening to you, you know, because I, I couldn't get him off. The bear won't relent. At one point I remember being upside down. I started kicking him at his face, I remember, and I knew I wasn't getting away. I couldn't get away. He was very powerful. Trapped under a massive creature, death is the only outcome running through Anthony's mind. It just comes in a blink of an eye. You realize you're going to die. But then something inexplicable happens. I just said something like, oh God, I don't want to die today. But it seemed like that's all it took because the bear jumped off me pretty much after I said that. The attack stops as suddenly as it began. Anthony struggles to remain conscious. I didn't feel anything, because at that point, like the ear must have been gone, my shoulder was hanging out. Alone, severely wounded, and losing a lot of blood, it's up to Anthony to save his own life. Nobody was around, you're, you're close to a road, you can hear the cars, but there was nobody there to help me. The bear still looms and slowly walks back toward Anthony. Using all his strength and willpower, he gets to his feet. The bear was on his way back towards me. I could see him start coming at me, but then I, I just got on the bike and went the opposite direction. Somehow, he manages to ride away from the bear. I knew I wasn't in good shape to stop and turn around and look. I didn't, I just knew I had to keep going on the trail. At the trailhead, he encounters help. Anthony's left shoulder is marred so badly that doctors fear they may need to amputate. But luckily, they were able to save his arm. So this is the shoulder that he, that he took off. He kind of bit all over it, took off the top of it. The attack has left him with physical and psychological scars. It takes a while, it took a while to get over that feeling because I, that's the memories of, that I have of the bear on top of me. So now I am a lot more apprehensive about going in there. I'm more aware there's a, a certain amount of risk. Some people say it's pretty low, but you know, it's still there, and I experienced it, and uh, it's, can't not ever forget that. They are 12 of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Armed with power. Deadly venom and blending seamlessly into their mysterious world. They are the forest's deadly dozen. 